guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 4 of the Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. So it's, yeah, yeah, I got that right, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, week 4, let's see if they kiss. I mean, you know, Anna's might show up. I mean, well, what exactly is it? It's not the thing from Don Machi, of course. You know, no, 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 no. What is it? Oh, it's a dragon. Okay. <laughs> My thing is, hold up. What happened? <laughs> the kingdom about this be like hey you know get an owl on speed dial be like hey <laughs> there's a dragon in the old forest we have a problem we have a code blue so um but the defense is up like <laughs> I'm, I'm so stupid oh my god <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the fucking meme. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fucking meme. I was like, <laughs> I can't say it because it's so funny. Oh my god. Okay. So someone's on the phone. Someone should show a phone call. All right. And so they answer the phone. And they're like, mushy mushy. Uh, do not, uh, I think it's the world or death. And the next thing you know, like, they did it with JoJo. And it was Giorno and fucking Mista. And, and Mista's still in Italy. And he's like. <laughs> oh, we're continuing right where we left off. Oh. But hold up, Ilya tells it like this. You okay? Jesus God, honest. You know, warn somebody real quick. <laughs> uh oh. God, I mean, like everybody's getting sick. I was sick. For like two fucking weeks. My co worker is sick. My aunt is sick. Is anybody else sick? Like, Jesus. Well, you're laying in bed because you're sick.
Right? I, I thought it would be at least 10 to 15 minutes. True. I mean, because yes, you are in a relationship. Do what you want to do. You be that bird. You gain that freedom. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Damn it, even though she's like, I wanted to see him kiss today. Like, <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> you know, honest. All right, let me say one thing. From your other past, don't be like getting the character from Bochi and singing some psychedelic song. <laughs> Baby, that's love. That is love. Oh my god. Girlfriends! Married! Wife! This fuck face right here, oh my god. Does he really have to be in today's episode? <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> Depends on what the opportunity is, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, that too, or, you know, mm -hmm, the obnoxious little cute hand holding that you did with your wife last night, yes. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I bet you see that bird. That's what I want to be. I want to be free. Oh God! Now she getting sick. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you two were just very similar to I and Kaguya. <laughs> we were calling you some. Why, why, why can't the rich man be like young? I'm just saying, but you know, I, I get it. <laughs> right, but so <clears throat> and something about you is just interesting. Now, why do I want to ship these two? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yuffie, you're just shippable with everybody. Or, you know, Yuffie, you could just have two girlfriends. I mean, that you know, nothing wrong with that. The best of both worlds. It was, too. What's wrong? The, the dragon? <laughs> I mean, you know, 
but she just is. She has a lot of free time. <laughs> Oh, like bash the same feet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> Now see, right then in there, that one little line, yeah, she sounded just like, what's her face from Bochy the Rock? <laughs> I want to rewatch Bochy the Rock. So she's got to go. I mean, well, we know you're not going to die. You're too much of an important character. You might get hurt. Ellie, you want to say something? Uh, when she made up her mind, it's like, hey, you got to go. Free as a bird. You would think she want to go with her. Oh, never mind. I swear to see this. That is the second time that has happened when I recorded. Twice! Oh my god! Get Chainsaw Man and now this. What the heck? <laughs> Deja! It's <laughs> a dumb idea. You don't want to do that. You never want to ignore. What if it just decides to come into the kingdom and poof, everything gets destroyed? What you going to do then? Excuse me. Exactly. Honest? Oh, oh, God. How the hell are you get a... I'm like, how do you get out? <laughs> Ain't you on the house arrest? But, a big but, but, I feel like your sister is gonna get it before you. No, oh, of course. I mean, yeah, that look in his eyes is completely different. Yeah. That too. And, and that also shows up very serious. He is about this.
I mean, seriously, whoever voices him, like, damn. Don't like the character, but like the voice. <laughs> Take a look right there. He's cute. Right there. Then he had to turn into an asshole. Yes. <laughs> I mean, right as he was ready to send his son, be like, yeah, you can go. <laughs> like, oh my God, your majesty. Big news. Your daughter and her wife are going in the black forest. a little bit more about Yuki real quick. Okay, so the having her be sick this week was very interesting because you get to see Honest take that lead role in the relationship, but then once again, you kind of get to see who wears the pants in the relationship, and it is definitely Honest. It's obvious, like, oh my god, but yes, like, even the forehead touching scene where I thought it was going to be a kiss scene, like, oh my god, I can't. That was so fucking cute. But I hate the fact that she envies her because Honest is, you know, able to be free and do whatever she wants to do when she wants to do. While with Yuffie, she, she feels stuck. Even after, you know, an engagement ending, her reputation going down, everything that has happened up until this point, she is almost afraid. And in a way, like, Anis's brother kind of feels the same way. I mean, especially with what he just said in the last couple of minutes of this episode, where he, it almost feels like he shouldn't be the next one on the line of throne, that it really should just be Anis, because the fact is, you know, like, it's almost like, okay, like, you know how, mm, how should I word this? Like, okay, the majority vote. Where it's like, okay, so for an example, let's use these two. Let's use Honest and her brother. And let's say, you know, reputation-wise, her brother is good, but everyone favors Honest the most, which is currently happening in this situation. So if it was up to, you know, the audience, the majority of the, like, majority rules regardless, they're going to vote for Honest and they're not going to vote for her brother because of the fact is the way he's kind of treated are been treated in society is not the greatest and such. And so Honest is, you know, definitively the one who will be the next one in line in the throne while her brother, you know, once Honest dies, like, yeah, 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 you'll finally get what you want. But I, I think in this moment of what he was trying to think, if he goes to defeat this dragon, that will give him the big, you know, um, recognition that he deserves and then be like, okay, I'm just as good as my sister, if not possibly better, to be in line for the throne. 
and that I should be next in line and she should be after me. Maybe, I don't know, but that's just my little gist of that. But I, I love the fact that, you know, Yuffie is like, okay, if you're going, I'm going with you. And I feel like this is her, this is her start for her to be free. And next week, it's going to be very interesting seeing these two fight together. I hope they have enough ish because, you know, now we're going into <laughs> not really an RPG, but in a way we kind of are, especially because we got a dragon coming in and a huge ass stampede coming towards the kingdom. Not really, but one wrong move, they might come towards the kingdom. So, you know, you got to be ready. Battle stations, everyone. Go to your loins. Mm -hmm. Nobody die. <laughs> but um, I think next week will be very interesting to see these two fight together I felt like we might get a moment where you might be a little defensive and scared I mean I think this is the first time where she's ever really going to get into a battle we we've seen from last week where in training mode and practicing and everything gorgeous phenomenal like beautiful but we're now in the big leagues and such it, it's it's crunch time it's d-day it's test time there's no more holding that hand. You're on your own and such. Yes, you got your wife over there with you. She probably doing her own thing, but still at the end of the day, you're on your own. This is now trying to prove to yourself that you can do this and such. And I think she'll do, you know, honestly a damn good job. I mean, she is, you know, a very bright girl and such. A really, I don't like the word girl because she's not really, she is a girl, but she is a bright young woman let's say that and such and so i think she has the you know i can't <laughs> the way i'm wording this she she has potential to just do anything become anything kick ass she's gonna kick ass next week we all know it yes so let it fucking happen next week and then let him kiss please i need it okay you didn't give me my talking now <laughs> And she saw Tokus. You kind of gave me the marriage at the end of the grocery coil. But she ain't give me no fucking kiss. I need a fucking kiss in this show or in this. You give me the little hand holding and, you know, the, the foreheads together or just like freaking just holding the hand up against their heart or their boob or something like that. Like, yeah, that shit's cute, but I need a kiss. A kiss! I need it. Okay? Before the show ends. <laughs> yes. Especially after what the freak I read when I was reading like the synopsis on Yuffie and what eventually is going to happen to her. We know it's going to happen. So if she turns into that thing, all kisses. Give it. I need it. Like a drug. Because they're cute as fuck and I love them so much. But other than that, guys, that was very... <laughs> That is my reaction to towards episode 4 of the Magical Revolution <laughs> of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. I fucked that up again. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 5. Bye, guys.